ladies and gentlemen, as you can see on the screen, uh, His Excellency the President is being uh, given uh, a quick uh, run on what really happens here uh, from when the materials come in raw form, when you have the concentrate, and that's turned into a finished product that's also on display there, and that is the very uh, quick description of what uh, really happens at this facility and uh, that will be explained better when uh, the managing director of uh, World Cross uh, does his presentation a short while from now. We want to welcome His Excellency the President and we want to thank you for joining us. Rutaba Cultural Group, Kamutakwa Chirida Mkuruwihanga. Thank you very much, Rutaba. Ladies and gentlemen, we remain standing. We have the anthems. We want to appreciate Rutaba Cultural Group. But may we now all remain standing for the anthems, and thereafter we'll have prayers. Excellency, we have a word of prayer, and may I invite our religious leaders, uh, Father Richard uh, Sebuguao, the very Reverend Canon Nathan Mwesuje, and uh, the District Kadi Abdul Mukwaya to come and lead us in a word of prayer. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labor. And we pray in the name of the Triune God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, our loving Father, we thank you for the gift of our beautiful country, Uganda. We thank you for the natural resources below and above that help us to survive and to be in this life. We thank you for the gift of our lives. We thank you for this establishment that has been put in this place to help our nation and other people outside this nation. We thank you for the gift of our president and all those helping him to keep on steering this country forward. May you bless him and all our ministers and members of parliament and everyone that is in leadership to ensure that this country grows to greater heights. We pray, we pray that you bless this function and you continue to power blessings upon blessings upon our country, Uganda. And may you bless everybody here in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We continue to pray. Father Lord, we thank you for this great, safe arrival of our beloved President of the Republic of Uganda. We thank you for the many, many blessings that you have ever showered upon his life 
and even the life of the Ugandans. And we thank you for this great and wonderful congregation and this plant, the tin plant, that he is to officiate and launch this afternoon. We thank you that we count even 12 days in April to see that we are still alive and we commit this program into your hands as our Father. We praise you and thank you because you have done it for us and you've given us the best leader that we have ever had in Uganda. We thank you for this occasion. We thank you for the members of Parliament. We thank you the Honorable Ministers. We thank you for everyone who is here in your presence. Commit all the program into your hands. We praise you and thank you in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We may now take our seats, ladies and gentlemen. I want, uh, as a very first point of action this afternoon, for all the invited guests to appreciate His Excellency the President for joining us this afternoon. Can we warmly really welcome him? Okay, that, that was for those who traveled from Kampala. Abomuruti, Nyenokbare, Bakwachire, His Excellency the President. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Uh, and Your Excellency, you notice when I said of Omuruti, even Omeri now is a member of the Omuruti community and uh, he has been uh, uh, received by the LC1 chairman who will be telling us a short while from now. Your Excellency, the President of this, the Republic of Uganda, General Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, and we are honored indeed, Your Excellency, that you came uh, with uh, Miss Natasha Karujire. We welcome you and thank you very much for joining us. Ezengaro Zavanche, Mwanjerengaro is Natasha. Your Excellency, we have uh, honorable members, uh, we have honorable ministers, and at an opportune time, the honorable uh, Ruth Nakabra will recognize them. But I want to request the honorable ministers and ministers of the stand for recognition. Let us uh, recognize all of you in your capacities and for joining us on this very historic day. Your Excellency, um, since I want to stay within the same framework, we have members of Parliament who are here, and I want to request the members of Parliament to stand for recognition. Members of Parliament, please stand. I know the Honorable Mwine Paka will introduce them when he comes to speak. Your Excellency, we have uh, our team from the Ministry of Energy, led by who I discovered, studied here for six years at Maryhill Girls, uh, Maryhill, uh, our PS engineer Irene Bateve and the, the whole team from the ministry, please stand for recognition. Can we clap for this team from the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development? Thank you very much. Your Excellency, we have several uh, heads of agencies. Uh, I did see our very own uh, chair of uh, the Presidential Advisory Committee on Export and Industrial Development, uh, Mr. Odrek Rabogo, who joined us a short while ago. We also have engineer Ziria from uh, ERA, our regulator, the Electricity Regulatory Authority, we want to recognize you for joining us. Uh, Your Excellency, we have district uh, or city leadership. They insist they need to be called the city leadership. The Mbarara city leadership, please stand for recognition. Mwena, RCC, na division uh, representatives, na mayor, Mwena, Twabachira, Mwebarekwish. Your Excellency, we also have uh, members of uh, the armed forces who are here. And I wanted to recognize them and thank them for joining us, but please stand. Uh, members of the armed forces who are here, the UPDF and the Uganda Police Forces, we want to thank you so much for joining us. Your Excellency, of course, the religious leaders who are here, and we saw them. May I now ask the bigger group, the private sector, the reason we are really here. Members of the private sector, please stand. As long as you're a businessman, you're an entrepreneur in this country, please stand. You're the reason we are here to support Woodcross resources on this very big milestone as an investor in our community. Thank you very much, uh, our investors. Your Excellency, if I don't mention this group because they've done a good job in mobilizing uh, Abuzukulu to receive you here, uh, they are from the office of the National Chair in Chambogo, ONC Mbarara City, Bariaha, Abuzukulu Bawe, Badina, Muzukulu Mohanji Zefa, and Aisha Kenya, who have been organizing your young people to receive you in Barara City. Uh, there you go. Uh, you can tell when ONC is here. Uh, Your Excellency, 
I don't want to take too much time, but I want to appreciate you for your time in joining us for what is truly a historic moment uh, for Mbarara City, but indeed Uganda at large. When you will be launching, and you have just launched by unveiling the plaque there, Uganda's first integrated tin production facility. Can we appreciate that, that this is the very first integrated tin production facility? And so, Your Excellency, I want to prepare the Managing Director of Woodcross Resources to come because we want to run a video and he will tell us what really happens while we run this video. So as the Tenko team prepares that video, I want to invite uh, Mr. Mary, the Managing Director of Woodcross Resources. Can we welcome him to come and give us a very short five-minute facility tour via video as you explain to His Excellency what really happens here. Your Excellency, Mama Janet, Honorable Ministers, Honorable Members of Parliament, distinguished guests, welcome to the Woodcross Tin Refinery. I'm happy to walk you through a very brief overview of what we do here in this facility where we create refined tin at a grade of 99.95%. We first start with raw materials sourced from Ntungamo and Isinjiro districts, what we call cassiterite. This material usually has about 65% tin content. We initially bring the material in 50 kg bags from the mine sites. We crush everything to a size of two milliliters, two millimeters, and then we run it through our electric arc furnace in order to produce crude tin. The electric arc furnace essentially deoxidizes the, crude, the tin that we get in the natural environment in order to liberate the tin metal. We have to achieve a very high temperature in order to achieve that chemical reaction. Therefore, our furnace is able to achieve a temperature of 2,000 degrees, but we usually run it at about a temperature of 1,200 degrees. Following the, the, the crude tin liberation process, we then do some refining to take the material to a very, very high grade that is conformant with international standards. The material that comes out the furnace is usually about 99.4, 99.5% tin. The final steps remove those small basis points in order for us to get to 99.95%. It is very important for us to make sure that the, the product Uganda is exporting is of utmost premium quality. That's why we always try to leave a buffer with the minimum grade that we need to export. That minimum grade is 99.85%. We are exporting 99.95%. Thank you for being with us today. Uh, Omeri, I will uh, send uh, the PS to you just to correct you when you come back to make a speech on one small introduction you made. Uh, but we need to appreciate Omeri. Can we once again receive uh, Omeri's uh, brief tour of the facility? Uh, Your Excellency, uh, we want to be received in this area. Nanya Nashabe, RC1 Chairman, we too, Aije. Kandiba Nshabangunke, Your Excellency, Anjira Ngomda Chike Mwena Atuachira, Ombutongwele, Omrutomu, Your Excellency, not so far away from here because I continuously hear you mention this name. Uh, I think about two kilometers from here is your very good disciple, Stanislas Kamanyiro, and uh, he's one of the biggest disciples on the issue of value addition with wine. Chairman Tuachi. Amazina, ni Tanazio Chivira, Chairman Wichuekechi. Sebo Wichimsa, President, ni Mkwachira Omwanyogu, Kani Mfusima, Wewa Likuija, Kani Ngaruka, Nyachira, Abantu, Abisha, Wakusaka Tire, Omwanyogu. Kani Nyonjira Kusima, Enjeri, Eyoko Zemu, Ebintu, Okokwebe Mbeza, Okokoze Ugandeji, 
okajiteka mutindo buri kimwe cyono cyukozire kandi ibintu byokozire nibyegambirira aboko waza kubigamba nibibasa ninja aboko buri kimwe ukozire ntunguka ukozire amashomero ogombekire amakereziya buri kimwe cyono buyambe mwene cyo kozire tine cyo takozire nino nabo cyo tukusima kandi tukusima nutwenda ngo bwebe mbezi bwawe bugumizemu nyingira anti itwe numbwiro butwabe ntushaba ngo gumizemo kore ne 12 na mukaga ugarucyaha kwireza karuru abo kwite twatanzwe kora ki twatanzwe karonda necho mukama wange tinkwenda gamba binji na nishaba e umwanyo gwito gwake hogo na naruti ekibire kini tuteganisa munonga ekibira kirimo bute mu bwinji nka tukabe ntushaba mukamanye ngo tuyambe aha kibire iki oba ogiro ku wakigira kibwe aha gatiye tauni kayabire ste kan tushaba tugire ngo ekibiro kituye mu okore ntunguka orete development in keji kugira ngo abana batunge mirimo ntukusima abwe nkora eyo koziremu aha twine ho top dayaraho ni ndebe inabantu banja biri kosa binja bakora mu abasigaza abajyomu inabakozi yiye bakikankankaga ngira ho kaziraho ati nteka ho eji ajye yuwayiguraho we bare kurete enkura kurana naba na kutunga emirimo yibakora kandi nsima kuri isi Omwanyo ogu na oje nza katuletera ivu akatuletera ogo wale se akija kutueleza emirumu kulewa nga wana ya wahereze emirumu nechi hindi ngaraka nkushawa pine yenya mwonyo tinebi toche kuno mchikona tukabe ntue nango tuwezo yonke choma chebi toche choku sesa na boku bubu ile kubu kika ebi toche bisya kandi tukika tugaruka tuterwe njara omuyora yabyo mm ngaruka nkusima obwebe mbeze ni burungi ngaruka mm nyenda ahanka ka LC1 tukagira yo ekibina cyambara city bache ya man LC1 na LC2 bakora yo kasako shaba ngo bundo tereze mu muganda aboko kagira ngo abeteyine niko gati gufa mwenu ningira nti otuyamuteza uyo muganda ne kindi ngaraka nkusimira ba abebe mbezi bitu ba MP auto atori ne bambara site ni basimo buhereza oba kwereza aboko abantu bitu ni baba yamba baba korera ko mwamirukare nawe ni musima abo kujya namwe no ko yitwine office ya ya ananka bejo ya ya LC akagira ngo ni centre tutarashashura ni watura na tushashurira ngaruka nsima mwene mpaka echako zuromu akozure obuyambe bwa mana namwe ni anko mwana gwanjomu ni bamusima munonga abo kuba na yoreka abantu entunguka abahereza ibyo kure bidebera makagabo nabwe cyo ni musima munonga ene ibyo bice mukamanje ntande ndijo ningiraye nyingi ni wogine yo kankoma yebaza Abo mu rutika twakire speech ya RC1 ya twakira kagende busha niyombi e na we ya direkti ya inajirayo Your excellency um, we want to invite the city mayor to come Your excellency he has handed over the document protocol who will hand over to your team we were the chairman I want to invite the mayor of uh, Barara city Mwami Robert Mugabe Kachebezi to come and make his remarks.
Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, and First Daughter, Honorable Ministers and State Ministers, Honorable Members of Parliament, City Resident Commissioners, Religious Leaders, Chairpersons of Districts, Local Government Political Leaders, Officers of UPDF, Members of ONC, Tova Kumain, the place, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Your Excellency, I take the honor to congratulate you for being elected the chairperson of NAM on 19th of January 2024. Nyukutabaru siya Oweshti ni sa presidenti. Ama haanga gensi kutera Echisanje chiriku maremi yake ishatukandi Kujira ngukurga hati O kujenda chimwe nkumibili Abiru na mshanju Mwene chiriku maisa ngo chiria Your Excellency Allow me introduce to you The city leadership And neighboring District chairpersons Na wani nishawa Abuturkwewe mbera kumwe Mbara city all leaders of Mbarra City. Kindly stand up. Over member parliament, umanyengwe jo Mbarra City yao. Mbwenu babo wari yao, okatutambira, watu kuzo wachiti nisa presidenti, nkoko promoti, ngaba sirikareba, wakaba haruransi, wanyayi darari yoko ba, meya wa municipality nyowe, wamperezubu ka siti meya na mwenu bakute rumu ngarabu gecho. Kande chokuwa elze kuchikora Wakora constituencies Tuwajira constituencies ibiri Nye wendu site meya Nye ba meya ziba anjebabiri Uwamba raste nosi Mba raste sausi ahahori Na mwenu barigia bandu mga mwishitami Abo bimere Babiri Ba meya bato Rema mbaba wa Kama anje president Jomu mgabari yao Uwechiti nisacha abuishu yari yao Umri yao tuwa garika tuwa tunga memba Ziba parliament babiri Hona rebo roba turukari abga nosi Kandi Na hona rebo mwine mpaka Abga mba raste sausi Kand host MP Tuine memba paramenti Oriku juwe chiraba chara Ugonu wenu kwe toro rana we steyon Hona rebo ruita abga hika Waka tambari Ninyenda kwa rumu nchisha mhango Ishti nisa president Okusima Okuja Okijua muri tomu chiri Okijua muri mba rasito mkayao Omkija omu Rijo norosite Kandi eriku jenda chumweka kwa tana Chiru hura mwenu kata humba kaka ugenjini Tuwa kwa chira ba kwa chiri mnunga Nienda kusima Awa Ministry of Energy And Mineral Development Thank you so much for what you are doing to this nation And the good thing That you were doing has shown itself today here in Mbarra City that we can transform the rock materials into what is going to be done in this city now. Mwebare, babate rumu ngaraba ministry. Nyenda kusimaba a good cross smelting company limited for inviting you and accepting to come. Mwebare, about the, 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 these investors kind of stand up and we appreciate you. Kureta President Mutelenga Rozuku inga nasio Kandi baru hurori nyankore baru kwe jira kandi baturu mchile ya Your Excellency, I take the honor to thank you for elevating Mbarra Municipality to a city status Bitu na anafa magarana anayi wa kwanjula speaker wanji Speak Taunikiraka wanji Arwaha I want to thank you so much for that and uh, from that things changed. That day it was announced the city 
Things in Mbarara City changed. The prices of land changed and everything changed. And even the ways of putting up uh, buildings and infrastructure developments also changed. And we thank you so much for uh, we thank you so much for doing all that for us. A church on Kacha in Vira and Teka Teka Nem Korei to Kabanyambara, Nambuenware Twan Yonyaho, Nimanyanga Misho Agata and Sawa Rokturion Kirkanga Turana Kashari, a Jonentungu Kaywa Resere, a Wokoram Barasite, Nguebeho. Barra standing wa speech in Ermovu and Tuburing Gobutin Dabshome, Konkantu and Daksima, a program Yausme de Yuare Sere, Okujangu and Dembo, cities and municipalities. Zirijo mchuchu hamwena nebiondo. Ebiyo viko zirwe omuste yitu. Kandi nchukusimra yebare mnonga 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 mnonga. Okutwele zengu utwezo. Okatuwa matara. Okatuwa bantubariku jendera. Hata ba boda boda tupa chisikana na bantu. Bakute romu ngaro. Echo chuko zirwe chitina. Nyendaga rika kusimra 21 km zezu wa tui. Koruku etu orora. Umurharo na hani. Uchitina sa presidenti. Obasize kubingo mchuchu umurumba rasiti. Nyenda kutwaru mchishogu. Oishti nisa presidenti. Okusima. Kuiha. Ebyo biona biaeza korwa. Haba antu wakata anika komushuru. Na mwenu tinchi ganzi ya bantu. Na minister waruko government. Haka nkanti erendu uru. Tuereze gureda. Tuereze gureda. Haba antu wakasha shuru mshuru. Tuwa igurira gureda ansia. Tuwa yombe kama shomero. Tuwa yombe chiraba shome sa ukurara. Tuwa igure mihanda. Echo tichikozire. Ahabuko kumani uru ya iguru. Oru kutuere zebio biona na abuwe chon tukusimu uchiti nisa president. Nobu turawe tuchiri yao kongkantu chenda yuna nebiya government evi ndi kubiya kujia. Na abuwe ntubi ya chie. Uchiti nisa president. Mbwenu esiteje kuzire mnong. Na mbwenu obu wabire cha person wabari yaba jungu. Hamwena China. Ntusha wangu komitiz kuza kuza kushita mahato zire itakunu. Aoka ma hotel tugini. Tuine Las Vegas hub Seraria. Tuine hotel nkaza Triangle. Tuine za Lakeview, tuine za Igongo, tuine ama hoteli gamani. Na wicho tukwa chitina tukwa chirika sete kari yaka munisparte, eji ni Rio sete, kani niwe chitire, una mwicho tuwa kusimu. Mwene chukucha kubaho, ni tuija kweta getisha ichenyo nye uchitina sa president Museven. Aba jungu kubwa raze kuija, mwene batakare tuwa hari umgongo ni manyano baruha, kubwa kuzanya chishari raho, uhatewe kanise nko koko zire hoima, kande chinu kumanyangu no okora, Which the Mr. President stay here to carry on Jira Kujira Mani Menji Muno. Nienda kutuwaru mchisha mahango. Which the Mr. President. Okusi mraba antuba mbarra siti. Okwe ituru kubatura ba antuba mba teka teka unu kwa ta sento zutueres. Aa. Aba antuba ba naba kozi. Aba antuba hinga. Aba antuba lisa. Aba antuba kora business. Mwena ba antuba hiko mutawu ni zaketi zeza bezutura yeru. Hati sirigomu rumba rastin. Chukusi mra. Yebari unu kutuwa mbairo mentejo. Kandaba antuba kabasa kore. Ni mkushaba oishti ni sa presidenti uh, ni mkusima akushare okwatera ho abantu wa magaragawo nkiru wa rorigitori ya region or rifaro kane na health center zitu zilion zikora no vutura vetu rukuja ngunka region or rifaro even national rifaro dere zere center falls nkeje yitu tujukore esite uh, rifa, uh, esite uh, rifaro ebase kutuya ambaba ntubitu wakaba jimunomu leadership Deba baba antuabu wa rebu. Ebyo reba biruku jenda je tinye nyeka. Iwarumu na naba barumu. Eji timwe yu wa reba mgaricha mweme rogundu murundu wa sebo na wanyaba bebe mbezi wa mbarasiti. Na wewe shenjeleza mweme re. Ebyo kwa zirugweje ni tuena. Ebyo ra rebe huko isho numa kati kachevezi ni tuena. Deba mbaba. Kandura ihakana ishaye gambio. Aha. So I want to thank. I want to thank you so much for that. Kandi NRM ahampa eruho. Kandi wa antu nubwa kwa jira nkukuru kuri. Hina kundu kuenda kuhisha kuenda na nako. Dero tukagumizamu. Ntuenda kusimira factory zezirumu. Nkarato nezi indi. Nindevo kwa nye meride nyuma. Chimanyisa nguna atuwa robu gire kwa nkabore chile kachena hiru kwa namurewa. Mutura nubu mfita fiti chilakuri yako nkahate no mbeyo hovu ndia hamu nyitereho. Mbwenu echo chirukchitio. Factory zi nzizi za tanda. Mbweni chema mani ya gamba. Ya jirati ahampaye chibira chiruho. Ntuchumanya emetu ntuchukunda mnonga. Ni nkushavo chiti nisa president uweru mseveni. Mperze kutwara timu eji tuwa zambari. Na mwenu wakusime lechi ntuchua kwa zire mbarecha industrial park. Wakusime. Eshimba aretera kubaka ruru. 
area in area with a curio cave and a yoburu two hundred per cent. Okay, quatra two hundred per cent. When you look shabampa, a chevra range chaha, Katwinita Karit Kachera, a looking and a hectares, Iganankaga Nina, a chuach to a cachera, O candeta and barenka yuati in barre, O Kajikora to Kajinacio Paca, a minieto, Avarkurgomza University Zes Yahamena Navan. Bakabasa kuzaba kakorao Mwene cho wachi nkora nubu na kuzomu iguru mkama kampe chumuru chumuru Echa kando wichiti nisa president Mseve nukutu hatu njirecho Hatu riyon tutebeka nisa site yitu na yatana Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi Hamwena adiara si Hatu riyon mbiyo kutupormoti nga business na mwetu ine Mbara site festival Eriyon eza kuzamu umkwa mkaga Kani ntuwa ntujuka tukushemer wa okutunga site Eyi watu hiri Ntuenda kusi miraka tarekaru wagati Akatare karu wagati, oye! Ukachikori. Akatara wako necho kurebera umu Uganda yon. Echon tukusimra, yevare munuunga presidenti, konkano bukarabe karo, haba ntutubaru kuwera mbona kuna naba kozi, na amwe nitu etu inama taka, ntukushabangu koku tuonjera kandi kakabiri, haba ntubawi, bakaba asa kubaji munuunga. Ntuenda kusimra, okukwatra haba ntubari ya, haba gufu, echa parishi, Development model echo kuzire. A sentence is zire, ziruku ingana billion zibir na point three. Abantu bas tunjere barion bakor. Konka no buturave turiaho, tutura tunjere sente wogu mantuza yoku montaringa na mwenu tukwe sewki to turku, obuturku yom roko revenu na nandi kujang tuzeyo. Mwen finance kuyak tunjera mu echo, hatomur mogitu kaji enda kurunj. Kandi ni manyangu echo na chunch kuru. Ndiona hende na mwana maun mm, mujisha wabot. Aha. Echinu kuenda kuenda na nacho Mbara na barisa na wahinji Kande na munonga factory zezo za ajiri Omo chama ni yashaba Ikororye bitochi Mwenu itwe ahampa Nkabu abaru kuenda kutepe kanasomu Tindo gwe nyama Ibajire rutu ineri ya haneri ya private Kutuwa kutunga abatwa Ibajiro runji Enyame kaba gwaje kurunji munonga Eka rebe rugwa kurunji munonga Na ngweka korugwa Tuka jack spotting anuku jack spotting Kande chaika waza kuchikora. Hate nya matuwa jihomu mbucha hari ya anako mo. Omu abatuwa. Baji processinga ya zanyo nyi ya zaza Kanada. Hamwena na hiyo. Yewari mnonga. Chale njizi na nazuga ambrehozi mwe. Ntuchenda mo. Nguto ni njinji. Tukabe ntuchenda mwa kande ka, ka, ka sente. Nguto basi kukure mahani. Echa mheru. E, echa inachi gamba. Iruwaro kuryonja na narigona hari gamba. Echa mheru na hiru. Nka sete meya hamwena na wewe mbeza wariya. Bita wa district murai. Nibaringe district leaders. Stand up. Stand up. Mchungu samwiri. Ugwenu wa antunga munu wa rukutini. Yoba rukutini mba nanka. Ejeje ya tureta. Arono wa wisinjura rai. Na wawa ka ariyaho. Mwenu abonu wa abonu wa kutere za roma materials. Hati ababa bariyonu wa shaba. Na sete meya zingu kutuwa kukugana tuku gani ila huni. Just to kanywa kakupoka chai. O katawa arisi ya nituwe tukwa kusi mwoku tuwele za siti zezi. E chocho onka just a koko onka koko onka tine chango chinde chiri yako. E cha kabi. Nkana atume re hona rebo brahi tiru wa maramu. Kani mangwe chini nka chikutuma. Nka jangwe chiti nisa president msewe ni chitu kusha. Enkumi vira vira na mkaga ituwe tuli ya. E jere yi njwire ti njwire for decoration yi excellence. Njwire nka memba wa enaremu. Kandu mhajizu wa enaremu. Kandu nukukundi. Nyo na chikwesha vira mwenu ria kwa raba ataka chikugambi. Enkumi vira vira na mkaka. Na kwesha njereza. Oire chiri yomu handa. Stezi yonu stabilizing. Na kwesha njereza na kusimbra maju. Ujoya simba tukere za karu. Musebe no oye. Nkana jizere ngukumira yanje tuzenu mkotu wabo tariku enda kwe simba kwa mkambu enobu na chikugambira. Kani kare wachite romu ngaru Tuwa manyangu wa zagar kamukama kumpero mji For God and my country Tuwa ntuwe ndangu tuwa chire speech ya mayor His worship the mayor Can we give him a round of those ladies and gentlemen Your excellency We want to appreciate The city leadership uh, and I want to appreciate the mayor for welcoming us uh, and also 
using the moment to share the greater Barara City plan. I want to appreciate uh, there are some various categories of uh, agencies that are represented here. When I saw the Minister of Science and Technology, I was made aware we have the STI team. Do we have the Science and Technology Secretariat team? Can you stand for recognition? STI team. Can we appreciate them and thank them for joining us? Yes. And also... I also want to appreciate uh, the uh, different leaders from the schools uh, of uh, Barara City. I think we have some head teachers uh, who are here. Please stand for recognition, the head teachers and those who are representing academic institutions. And I think the PSU head teacher is here. Uh -huh. now, now we will reconcile that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as mentioned, immediately after this, we will have uh, a, a brief moment where you can, after the departure of our chief guest, uh, in smaller groups, uh, again managed by Woodcross themselves, take you through the facility to see what they do there. I now want to invite uh, the Honorable uh, Mwine Mpaka, who is the Member of Parliament for uh, Barara South City, uh, to come. He will introduce his colleagues. So the Honorable Mwine, please come and help us introduce your colleagues who are here so that we recognize all the members of parliament that are present. Uh, and I can invite the members of parliament to also come. So, Honorable Mina, you can come with the members of parliament. I also want to welcome those of you who are joining us online, because we are streaming this live across all the platforms, but also broadcasting this on UBC. We want to welcome all of you uh, who are joining us for this uh, grand launch, the presidential launch of Uganda's first integrated tin production facility. And it is here in Barara City, in Ruti, where our area member of parliament, uh, the Honorable Mwine Mpaka, is now going to do the honors and introduce his colleagues from parliament who continue to support the government's agenda on value addition. Uh, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda and the First Daughter, Honorable Ministers present, Honorable Members of Parliament present, uh, Senior Army Officers and uh, Officers from the Defense Forces, uh, Members from the Local Government, Leadership, uh, all protocol observed. Your Excellency, without wasting time, let me allow the members, since they're already here, to introduce themselves before I give very few remarks. Your Excellency, uh, Mwere Asimwe, woman member of parliament for Rwampara, Kandi, Abanya Rwampara, Wakutejereze Mzei, Yine Ito Ntuetenga, Yoka Chansi Nkaka, Kugambra, Evitukwenda Kugambra, Kanto Hashemi Rwamnongo Kureva. Niwa Rwamnongo. Your Excellency and First Daughter Natasha, Honorable Ministers present here and Ministers of State, my colleague, members of parliament, religious leaders, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, since our president, my name is Claire Mugumia, member of parliament, Omchara and Dikushwechera Isinjo district. Our Isinjo and Kunda no Chiman. Can't take the resent Kuendango Gumoyje or Tichejo. Can't in Yendaku Gandro since our president. Great factor of Isinjo Nita took the supplying a bigger percentage of the raw material that they use here. So, and Kuachira. Kandi weba le kutele za chance, jo, eyo kuja mtubasegu ganyiru wamu, omu kusapra inga factorage. Weba le mnonga kujine, which is our president. Uh, Your Excellency, my name is Stephen Kangweji Wakanuma, member of parliament of Kanga, constituency Isinjiro district. Your Excellency, ito wabanyi Isinjiro, tulwa mwena wanyambara, kuhunkechiru kutumba jizambara, na region yituweji, Nenguto yeisinjiro bukanga rokai mutukura road. Ntukushabo ichiti nsa. Koko otare mwenevi indi biyona nkoko wiko zire. Rijo ni hitu eji wajihere zenguto e hituru gambao. Kande yoru kumanya. Echituweka cha awo nchiza kubichu mrembi munonga. Tuwa kwa achira, tuwa kwa achira. Kanda ba ntumwena bari yaha. Mukama ba mpiru mchisa. Kwe bari munonga. Your Excellency, you must welcome. Mweswa Robert Rikari, Mbara Stay North. Thank you.
Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, the first daughter, Natasha Ninye at Kwasa Rita Waika, Your Excellency, I have feedback on two issues. One, um, as uh, requested uh, from Chankwanzi in June 2023, the diversification to introduce table grapes in Mbarara City as earlier on mentioned by the moderator, that Musei Kamanyiro is still going on, but there are other groups that also would embrace table grapes. And the second one is the issue of the Common User Facility Skilling Center for the Youth. As you know, we thank you for skilling through the presidential initiative, but the fact for rent, the fact for equipment, is an inadequacy that the youth may not able to meet. And you also guided in Chankwanzi that I should submit those two documents, and Your Excellency have submitted them to Madame Omaswa, and she'll be able to hand them to you. The last one, Your Excellency, the documents about uh, Omgurusi, Businje Karashan, have equally submitted to your PPS. Thank you, Your, most, your Excellency, and you're most welcome. Uh, Your Excellency, I would like to take this opportunity, first of all, to congratulate you. You have always uh, told us about the bigger picture, about value addition. And even when we met during the, uh, the discussion on coffee, the, the, the idea was adding value. And you told us uh, from the 18th century, the biggest challenge of Africa, not only Uganda, has been value addition. And today we are here to celebrate one of your achievements, one of your dreams, one of your hard work. This, what we are celebrating here, is what you have always preached, and we are very happy to be here. I would like to also congratulate the ministry, uh, led by Honorable Minister Nankabirwa, the Ministry of Energy, for this wonderful achievement. Because uh, it's, going to, it's not only going to add uh, value to our raw materials, but also provide employment, Your Excellency. When you look into that factory, there are quite a few number of people, probably 20 people are going to be employed, but there are thousands more in the mines that are going to get jobs. So I'd like to thank the proprietor of this factory uh, for this wonderful achievement. Your Excellency, this factory uh, needs support. We have supported factories that have not shown us anything. But at least this one, we can see uh, the little they're already doing. And... Uh, during our security meetings, when we came here, we were told that they're actually renting, Your Excellency. It is my humble request. I, the, the mayor talked about gazetting, degazetting this forest into an industrial park. But I want to tell Your Excellency, we may not even have a forest anymore. The forest you see behind could already be titled and could already have been taken. I would like to offer a, a solution, Your Excellency, which uh, through your guidance you may react on. There's 40 acres we had given Egypt Uganda Food Security Company across the bypass, across the road. Uh, that land belonged to the stock farm. If, through your wise leadership, if we can give this land to the Uganda Investment Authority to set up an industrial park, our investors such as these, such as the Kazires who are also here now, can get land to set up more factories. We had land that was taken by Gatsby, you are very aware. So our prayer now is to get land, set up an industrial park. Your Excellency, since you are the Minister of Finance, allow me to update you on the, on the project so far that have been done, that maybe the Mayor could have left out. The 2.394 billion of uh, PDM has benefited 294 groups so far, Your Excellency. The 1.090 billion for Emioga has benefited 36 circles not only in South, but also in North, Mbara City North. Your Excellency, in this financial year, we got one billion to put an artificial turf on our playground in Kacheka. Your Excellency, uh, our hospital, Shitagata, in uh, Mbara City South, has also been given one billion for upgrade and works are ongoing. The town clerk is here. Your Excellency, we're also given an ambulance uh, through the Ministry of Health. Excellency, those gentlemen at two miles, those, garage, those garages there that have been supporting the opposition for quite a long time, through the leadership of the RCC and the members of parliament and the, district and the 
city leadership. We have managed to organize them into an association. And Your Excellency, the Uganda Investment Authority allocated them uh, five acres of land. And they are now going to set up a school for training mechanics, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, the Ministry of Luero, through the, Ministry of, uh, the, through the Prime Minister's office, has given Barra City over 400 million to support the various groups, especially those of the veterans. Your Excellency, we have received two tractors uh, through the Ministry of Agriculture uh, that are helping our people in the cultivation and agriculture. Your Excellency, the Katete Bridge in this financial year, through the leadership of the speakers, we are, we are going to appropriate money to construct this bridge. It requires, requires 6.9 billion, roughly 7 billion. Your Excellency, this forest you see that the chairman was complaining about, 60 acres are going to be used to set up a zoo. Work has already had the, uh, an MOU with the, with the, with the, uh, with the, uh, with the ministry, and uh, they are going to set up a zoo, and money in this financial year has been appropriated to set up this zoo. Your Excellency Nyamtanga Secondary, Kagaga Primary, and St. Helens have all been allocated money for construction of classroom blocks. Your Excellency, lastly, UNBS has been allocated money to set up a headquarter so that these manufacturers do not need to go back to Kampala to test their products. We are now going to have a headquarter of UNBS in Barara, which will help us not only as a district or city, but as a region. Your Excellency, lastly, uh, the, the religious leaders here present today requested me to remind you of their pledge you made some time back uh, when you visited Barara. Uh, that is the, our Muslim leaders from the uh, our leaders from the Muslim faith, the Catholics and the Protestants. But also to remind you that the Pentecostal churches were promised 50 million for their circle. Your Excellency, Your Excellency with, with that, I wish to thank you and congratulate you upon this wonderful achievement. And I wish to thank the investors for having chosen to come to Mbarra City and set up this factory. Your Excellency, thank you and wish you the best. Your Excellency, uh, I, I found it a bit difficult to stop my own uh, member of parliament. Uh, since he represents me and my constituency is here uh, in Nyakayojo, so I was a bit careful. I still want to be welcome, like uh, a Mary in this community. I want to take uh, the singular honor, Your Excellency, to invite uh, one of Ruti's uh, newest uh, uh, residents, the managing director of uh, Woodcross Resources, Mr. Omedia Mary, to come and make his remarks. Can we warmly welcome him, ladies and gentlemen? Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, First Daughter, Honorable Members of Parliament, Honorable Ministers, local city officials, thank you very much for being with us today and we welcome you to the Woodcross Smelting Refinery. Your Excellency, when we first started on this journey 15 months ago to build the first tin refinery in Uganda, we could have never imagined that you, we would be blessed one day with your presence the way you've blessed us today. Thank you for being with us. <laughs> it's quite ironic though that you're here because if it wasn't for you, none of us would be here and this facility would not have been built. Let me share a story about how Woodcross became the company it is today to explain what I mean by those remarks. Woodcross acquired its first mining license in Ruhama in the Tungamo district in April 2022. One day before the government of Uganda legislated value addition for minerals in Uganda. That decision by yourself made us go down the path of establishing this refinery as you see it today. We met you in State House in August 2022, and we promised you that we would build this facility. I'm proud to be standing with our partners at the Ministry of Energy and Mines, led by Honorable Madame Ruth, to confirm to you that we fulfilled the promise that we made to you in August two years ago. Mm -hmm. 
But we need to first understand what, what is tin and why is tin important in order to really understand the significance of this project. Tin is a silver-colored, anti-corrosive, malleable metal that is an ex excellent conductor of electricity. Anytime you want to drive an electric current over a small distance, you need tin. That includes devices such as smartphones, laptops, computers, TVs, batteries, automobiles. All of these devices require tin in them. And there's no substitute for tin in all of those applications. <clears throat> if you look at the supply of tin globally, it's been concentrated in the hands of five or six countries for the last decades. Those countries include China, Indonesia, Malaysia, Peru, and Brazil. What's happened over the last few decades is all of these countries are struggling to bring product to market. That's because of a few reasons. One, reserves globally are declining because most of those countries have exhausted the amount of product that they have in country. Two, China is a global leader in mineral beneficiation and especially for tin. They're about 50% of the global supply. What happens is raw materials from Africa, from Latin America, from Southeast Asia goes to China, gets processed there, and then the final goods are transported to all around the, all different parts of the world. But the challenge for China as well, as I mentioned, is that they're running out of raw materials to be able to export material. So they're not even exporting anymore, even if you're a willing and paying customer. This provides a significant opportunity for a country like Uganda to establish a refinery like this and cement itself as a trusted producer of refined tin in the global market. This facility makes Uganda only the 11th country in the world to have a licensed commercial tin refinery. <clears throat> None of this would have been possible without your commitment to your vision of pushing for value addition in country. We recognize at the time that the announcement was made about the policy change that you might have received some backlash from different stakeholders because it might have interrupted the flow of business for many, many people. However, your unwavering commitment to your vision for a better Uganda, the result speaks for itself and that's the facility that's here today. <clears throat> the significance of this facility locally, the main one is the fact that thousands of local miners in the Tungamo and its Injura districts can now go back to work and be able to have a legal buyer for their products in Uganda being Woodcross. <clears throat> Not only will we put thousands of miners back to work in those areas, our factory here employs 40 Ugandan nationals who are already up and running and well-skilled well with the art of doing tin smelting. <clears throat> Many of those are here today and they've had significant achievements in the development of this project <clears throat> in a very short amount of time. And we would like to, at the end of this celebrity, recognize the achievements of some of these individuals with Madame Ruth's assistance. <clears throat> in addition to the abil ability to create jobs, this project can also produce significant revenues for the country in the form of royalties, and attracting US dollars into the country. <clears throat> Our first consignment of refined tin of 10 tons is already available and we're ready to export this material and we've already paid the royalties for these consignments and with you today, we're hoping for your blessings to allow us to export our first consignments. <clears throat> okay. I would like to quickly recognize and appreciate our suppliers <clears throat> and our service providers that are here with us today that have helped us support our business and be able to deliver a significant project. I would also like to recognize Father Bash, who's in, uh, present with us today, who's been a partner with us in order to deliver various community and social relationships. 
This father really does God's work. He has 16,000 students that he's managing across seven schools. He manages two orphanages in Goma, just down the street from where my home is. And Woodcross is proud to be supporting these orphanages weekly by buying them groceries and various goods that they require. Thank you, Father. <clears throat> this journey has not been without its challenges, and we want to have a very successful project. As the Member of Parliament before me mentioned, there are a number of areas that we could use for your assistance in order to make sure that we can have a successful project here in Barara. The first one being the ability to export our products in a reasonable time frame out of the country. You see, our business is very capital intensive, and when we have a consignment of goods, there's a lot of money tied up in that consignment of goods that is not there to then be able to buy more material from the miners. We've been already in discussions with the ministry and the DGSM who have been very supportive and helpful to us in order to really streamline that export process. What we're kindly requesting is for the ministry to help us put together a process where within five days of a consignment being ready for export that we have the necessary approvals to be able to deliver our product to our end buyers. <clears throat> the second item we would require assistance is encouraging all mining companies in Uganda to bring the raw materials to the tin refinery in Woodcross Barara. As it stands, we haven't been able to engage all of the companies that are producing the raw materials that our facility so uh, that needs uh, very urgently. And we understand there may be pushes to provide some exemptions for them to be able to export those raw materials. We're requesting the ministry, the DGSM, to please refrain from providing any exemptions to any countries to export raw materials as it comes to tin products. <clears throat> as the Member of Parliament also mentioned, we are currently in search of some land in order to build a larger tin smelter. Our goal is to establish a Pan-African tin refinery, the leading tin refinery in East Africa that can process up to 10,000 tons of tin per annum. That would make Uganda the fourth largest exporter of refined tin. We are already in discussions with a number of regional companies that are willing to bring the raw materials to Uganda and to refine them. Other tin smelters in the region have not been successful because they haven't received the support that we have from the ministry and the government to establish our facility. With more support, we can establish Uganda as one of the global leaders in refined tin. Ability to be able to secure some land in order to build a custom ta tailored solution for a facility that size would be much appreciated. The next issue that we would like to bring to your attention is the incurrence of mineral rent by our mining licenses during the period when we were not able to export any of our raw materials, given that there was no value addition in country. We would kindly request for the consideration to waive royal mineral rents during these periods when we were not, not able to produce and be able to incur mineral rents going forward now that we can actually work and have some production in hand. The next item would be your considerations regarding taxes, namely withholding tax, payee and import duties for the equipment that we bring in to carry out our processes. We would like you to consider waiving those taxes for a period of two years in order to retain cash in the business and hire more people and develop the mining licenses that we have in order to bring more jobs to the miners and give them a very safe and productive way to carry out their work. <clears throat> and the last one I would like to uh, highlight is we would like to invite the Uganda Development Bank to potentially provide some working capital facilities in order for us to buy more material from our miners, which would put them more to work, and also to develop the mining communities, which will allow more people to be able to mine and, and, and make a good living 
which is a very um, lucrative career for most of these miners in that area. <laughs> As I mentioned, before I uh, hand it over to Minister Ruth, I would like to recognize the achievements of five Woodcross members, Ugandan nationals, who have gone way and beyond to be able to deliver this project as you see here today. So if I may invite Madame Ruth to join me up here in order to hand out some trophies to some of our uh, distinguished employees. Thank you. Francis Nakwasibe, can you join us up here, please? Francis was the first Woodcross employee, and he's been with us since day one, and he's done a fantastic job in making sure that we deliver this project. I thank him for his achievements. Patricia Niakesho, can you join us, please? Patricia, I think she's uh, up at the factory. She's coming now. I will name the rest of the winners just to expedite the process. Joel Ochiang, Michael Elwana, and Eric Nianzima. Eric, please join us. Your Excellency, these engineers were the ones that commissioned the facility fully. We didn't have any international engineers who installed and commissioned this facility. Your Excellency, thank you very much again for blessing us today. We look forward to having a very prosperous relationship with the government of Uganda. Yes. I would also like to introduce my mother, who traveled here from Canada to be with me today. Mom, can you stand up? When I told, told, told her Muse is visiting, she said that she has to come, so she's come a long way to see you. Thank you very much. Surely that's not fair for an investor to complete and we just give him a handful of claps. Can we really welcome him and thank him for investing in Uganda and choosing Ruti? Uh, we shall visit him later uh, and we thank him for uh, choosing Ruti as his uh, investment destination. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, just two people I, I think uh, the mayor would have, should have recognized he didn't. Uh, the former mayor, Wilson Tumine. I think he's here. Can he stand for recognition? Yes. And Your Excellency, your own representative here, the RCC of Mbarara City, uh, Colonel Retired James Mwesuje. Uh, your Excellency, I now want to hand over to the Permanent Secretary, the Ministry of Energy and Minu Development, uh, who says she'll only do one thing, uh, recognize the key stakeholders who are here from the Ministry, and then invite the ministers to address us, who will thereafter invite you to address this gathering. Your Excellency, the President of Uganda, General Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, all ministers here, the members of parliament, 
the local leadership from Umbarara District. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, we are delighted as the Minister of Energy and Mineral Development for joining us this afternoon as we celebrate this milestone. And Your Excellency, this milestone is testament to your transformative leadership, without a doubt. And uh, we do recall when we were passing the Mining and Minerals Act, uh, there was a group of investors who were not pro-value addition, and you were steadfast in emphasizing that we must achieve this. So on our side, as the ministry, we've organized ourselves to support the private sector execute these value addition projects with the leadership of our ministerial team, led by the Honorable Dr. Ruth Nankavira Sentamu. So this project has been supported by a technical team working with a private sector investor. And I just want them to stand up, led by Commissioner Madam Agnes Alaba, Assistant Commissioner K.D. Vicent. We also have a geophysicist principal, uh, Dr. Isaiah Tumichirize, supported by a whole lot other of technical staff. So, Your Excellency, we are ready to ensure that we progress this value addition target that you've given us. I therefore want to use this opportunity to then invite the Honorable Fiona Nyamtoro, who will in turn invite the Honorable Minister to speak to the audience. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, General Yori Kaguta Museveni, the ministers present, permanent secretaries, the entire local leadership of Mbarara City, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Your Excellency, I want to take this opportunity to start by thanking you for appointing me Minister of State of Energy and Mineral Development in charge of minerals. Thank you so much for granting me this opportunity to serve in this vital docket. I also extend my appreciation to my senior colleagues, the Honorable Ruth, sorry, the Honorable Dr. Ruth Nankavira Sentamu, Honorable Okasai, the Permanent Secretary, Ms. Irene Batebe, and the entire ministry technical team for the great support they have offered me since you appointed me in this critical role. Your Excellency, I congratulate Wood Cross Resources for coming to Uganda, first of all. But yet again, today, launching the very first tin smelting company in our country. Your Excellency, today's launch is manifestation of the vision that you have always borne as a leader. You have always been steadfast and today, all the doubting Thomases get to see that your vision has always been clear from the word go. My hope is that as we live here today, Ugandans across the country can get the encouragement and hope that even within us as Ugandans, we are able to have a citizen one day put up such and where we can ably speak of value addition as we attract more investors. Your Excellency, the launch of this company is also a wake-up call to many young people across the country. And I hope this goes as a resounding echo, encouraging them to equip themselves with the necessary skills so that they are able to be utilized by such establishments. And as we look forward to bettering the mineral sector, would have young people directly involved in the mineral value chain, seeing that we fast track the development of our country. Amidst all the challenges that we still have to solve as a leadership, our hope is in your steadfast leadership, Your Excellency. And with these establishments, we are very certain that we are on the right track as we look forward to seeing that mineral development and utilization, value addition, 
sells Uganda across the globe for the benefit of our country. With those few words, Your Excellency, allow me to take the singular honor to invite the Honorable Dr. Ruth Nankavira Sentamu to come and address us. I thank you. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, and our sister, Natasha, who has given you company, and I thank you for that. My colleagues, ministers and ministers of state, my colleagues, members of parliament present, my permanent secretary, the heads of different agencies present, the city and district leadership, our distinguished religious leaders, the directors of Wood Cross Smelting Company Limited, uh, all government officials present, the security officials, Mr. Chairman LC1 of Ruti Community, and all of you, the people who have gathered here to come and welcome our chief guest, our media colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon to you all. Your Excellency, it is with great honor and pleasure that I stand here to receive you and welcome you in person as our chief guest on this important function. I sincerely want to thank you so much because when I was invited to come and officiate at this function, I felt I should not be the one to do so. When you, the champion of value addition, for a very long time, you are present. So I had to secure an appointment such that you are the one to officiate at this very function. And I'd like to thank you so much. I want to thank my colleagues, ministers, who have turned up, some members of the Cabinet Committee on Minerals, Honorable Musenero, Honorable Pira Lokeris, Honorable Bright Ruamirama, Honorable Okasai, my colleague with whom we serve in the ministry, and our newest Minister of State for Minerals, who has just invited me to speak to you. I am grateful that you have honored my invitation. Let me use this opportunity, sir, first of all to thank you for having retained me in this docket. Because I serve with great passion, I would like to see projects concluded. I would have served everywhere, anywhere. You would have loved to uh, delegate me, but I was sincerely grateful that you left me in the docket to see through the upstream and midstream developments on the petroleum side, the mineral value addition, and the general electrification of the entire country. I also want to appreciate the appointment of Honorable Peter Lokeris as a, mini, a full cabinet minister of Karamoja. I have worked with Peter for a long time, since the days of uh, uh, Prime Minister Chintumusoke, Prime Minister Nsvambi. He's very hardworking, but in this particular area, I expect Honorable Peter Lokeris to continue helping me on settlement of the project affected people in Karamoja because we are focusing on Karamoja to make sure that we exploit the minerals in that region. I also want to thank you for having brought me a leader in the names of Fiona Nyamtoro. I promise to mentor her but also use her because we have 
to be on the move in this coming season where we are supposed to give Ugandans accountability on what we committed ourselves in our NRM manifesto. I am grateful and I pledge total uh, cooperation as usual together with the rest of the team in the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development. Your Excellency, you have already cut the ribbon and you have already unveiled the factory. Thank you so much. A round of applause to His Excellency the President. This looks like a small function, but it is being watched live on UBC because I wanted the entire country to see what is happening in Ibarara because this is what we want to happen everywhere where we have minerals in this country. So I want to applaud UBC for this job that you are doing. Your Excellency, I remember when I joined the ministry, there was a cabinet paper which had stayed in the cabinet for a long time because you were insisting on value addition. I tried to present it and there was uh, a provision, a clause in that paper which indicated that we cannot achieve like 99, 99% level of purity and tin because we don't have the industries. So we have to go slowly by slowly as industries come up. You chased me away from cabinet two times with my team. And you created a cabinet uh, committee, which I chair. So we went out determined to implement the directive on the ban of exportation of unprocessed minerals. We are implementing that, Your Excellency. And also we went on to guide the companies on mineral beneficiation. We moved around the country. We came here with Honorable Peter Lokeris, Honorable Bahati, as we were touring. And we were insisting on mineral value addition. So the companies which were in the business who were not adding value to our satisfaction ran out of business. And when I moved around, they were all requesting for waiver of the rent. <laughs> the waiver of rent and uh, uh, Wood Cross has also, has also mentioned it because they are not producing, they couldn't export concentrates. And so we were monitoring with my few staff. We were monitoring. I must congratulate Wood Cross because at that time I was told that their refinery was at Mombasa. And they promised me that by October last year, the factory will be up. And we are here in the month of April to witness the unveiling of the tin smelting plant, the first of its kind in Uganda. Congratulations, Wood Cross. Wood Cross determined the level of purity because they have the smelters and they were also allowed to export samples. And when they got back to me with the determined level of purity of 99.9, 99, between 99.85 and 99.95, my, I and my team in the ministry were satisfied. And therefore, using the attorney general, I signed the statutory instrument and confirming the level of purity of tin smelted and refined in Uganda as 99.85 and above. Wood Cross has reached, we've seen, the level of purity of 
point nine. So congratulations. So whoever is interested in tin mining and smelting, the level of purity which is already determined is 99.85 and above. So that is what every smel tin smelter will follow. We are continuing to help other companies who are mining in iron ore, for example, in, in uh, uh, rare earth. Rare earth, we are about to invite you, sir. I signed the large-scale mining license for rare earth. I also signed a large-scale mining license for Sunbird, who is going to develop Klinka in Omoro, and we need Klinka for our cement factories. Those already have the licenses. And the authority that Woodcross was asking for, for exporting the already refined uh, tin, 99.9%, is already authorized. I don't know what the problem is because the statutory instrument is in place. My pen is in my, my hands for me to sign the export permit for that. So the, I don't expect any problems. Uh, Your Excellency, I want to thank the communities where these investors are operating from. From what I have picked, Woodcross is in good books with the surroundings. Thank you so much. Thank you, the local leaders. Please continue encouraging the communities to support this kind of development. You have already enumerated the advantages of having such developments in our areas. I will not enumerate further. Um, I would like to confirm that Uganda has in place the relevant laws. The Mining, Minerals and Mining Act of 2022, which introduced the production sharing agreement, which you have been seeing in the petroleum side. And rare earth elements, Your Excellency, is given a license, a mining license, with this provision highlighted. The National Mining Company, which I'm almost concluding, I've been consulting on the names of the directors, will be the one now to represent government to manage the 15% state participation in mining. Every investor who is going to invest, who is going to be a large-scale mining company must abide by this. Sandbirds who are operating in Omoro, who are going to generate Klinka, Moroto, who are going to uh, produce Klinka, which we need badly, our mining company would be part of that because of the production sharing agreement which we introduced in the law. So the regulations are out. What I am remaining with your excellency is to organize the artisanal miners who used to come to state house all the time complaining. We have listened to them. The areas of Mubende Chisita, we are just concluding the regulations for the artisanal miners so that I can give them the artisanal mining licenses and they are all calm. And you will not hear quarrels and battles that you used to hear from the artisanal mining areas. They have to use our geologists. Every group must have a geologist attached to make them appreciate how mining is done to be able to respond to the environmental requirements. What answer is greed where you find 
people, you know, from Mubende, they are the ones you find in Tungamo, they are the ones you find in Busia, in Namayengo, having more than the required six licenses. Sir, you will hear that I have cancelled many such licenses so that other people can also be given an opportunity to develop and also uh, reduce on the number of times that one moves waiving this license, yet they are not serious, you know, yet we have serious people. So I am now assisted by my team at Entebbe looking at the system to remove all the non-compliant licenses so that we give opportunity to serious investors to come and invest in, and then we see value addition added. It is not really my day today, but uh, I just want to end by requesting people who have been involved in smuggling tin concentrates to our neighbors to please stop. Now that we have this factory here, I am going to swing in action using the police that we have and our staff, the inspectors, to make sure that we curb the illicit of these unprocessed minerals that are being smuggled to our neighboring countries. The factory is here. They will need raw material. The factory will need reliable power, and I want to assure Your Excellency and Wood Cross that we will, we will ensure that we have reliable power supplied here because they are handling very sensitive material. When power goes, that crude tin or liquid tin can be affected. So we are making sure that we also work on this. So please stop smuggling. Industries are coming up and Ugandans are getting jobs. And so we want to benefit like the president has been uh, uh, encouraging us and assuring us. I also want to thank Right Honorable Mama Mbabazi he told me he played a critical role with you when you were beginning, and he, he sent his regards. I talked to him this morning. He was so excited that the factory is now open. So financing. tremendously well of the manifesto is concerned. Member disappoint you, we shall continue to deliver as expected. I would like to end oh the request to waive, the request to waive, there are big volumes of money, but uh, it, has been, it has been put across to you, Your Excellency. For example, Woodcross alone, I think the, the fees go up to 1.3, 1.6 billion shillings for only Woodcross. But we also have other companies that when we stopped them from exporting the concentrates. But this is a request that has come from Woodcross and other companies. I'd like to stop here and take this singular honor to invite you, Your Excellency, to address us. Thank you so much for listening to me. Uh. Sit down, please. Sit down. Thank you. Ministers, members of parliament, the investor, uh, 
wananchi umbarara ababaji umbaji numanya umbaji ababaji abashema abarukwe hangamurura bibata kubasa abarukure byinsi yabo who can translate this i need a translator orkumo yoru nyangu no mari nyangu ri ukishiwe nyana yagaruka mhm eh what have i said wagamba in english now eh hey, we are in english now mm -hmm. we have talked about umbaji umbaji no umbaji who can't keep anything for yes. her who, who squanders who just squanders whatever he has yes whatever comes in the house or in the bedroom Those or who, in who, the farm very good anything those who squander their wealth yeah they eat whatever they have mm. and finish completely the avashema are the best fools who can't understand whether you explain they are, or they are, not they are uninformed they are uninformed completely uh. now Okwehanga murra the okwehanga murra means uh, it's like today if i can kwehanga murra the his excellency is seated there then for me without any permission i go in his table and start removing the whatever is there okwehanga murra is to that is to try touching to, it's, it's try to do what you cannot manage what you can't manage uh -huh. hey Eh? To, 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 to confuse your mind is here that when you go out and me personal alone I will remove everything alone here Kale, Kale. Uh, uh, what's your name? Kanyena Judith Nagarko Mishoga Umzei Konkana Nishabakoro Inomutor Kwesi Gamunonga Atari Oriyo Wale Wanyere Chere Inechi Nukwenda Kuga Ambra Kache Ok come and link up with the new where is she uh, she's here now i i added yabo is really being traitors being traitors so therefore, the situation of Africa since independence has been characterized by squanderers of African wealth, squanderers of African wealth. People who, 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 who try to do what they cannot do. Ukwehangamura, Avashema, they are informed and the, and the traitors. Ramana Mana has that in room, don't okay. worry. Uh, and the traitors. This is what has been, have been happening in Africa. And when the NRM came, we told you from the beginning that we are not part of that group. Who can first I want to be a leader when I don't know what I, what what it needs to be done. It's very dangerous, very bad. And then we told you that in our ten point program point number five was exactly this what we what we are saying here. We said we are going to build an economy. 
which is integrated vertically and horizontally. You, you are talking of, of milk. Of six, there was not a, a single, there was a small factory of Uganda Dairy Corporation that was producing about 50,000 liters. Or was it 20,000? Very small amount of processed milk in the town. Otherwise, the milk which was being drunk in the towns was from Denmark. In the 1950s, at Ntungamo, in our shops there at Ntungamo, we had, we had six shops, two, two for Indians and two for Arabs. You would find it there, in Ntungamo, condensed tinned milk from Australia, from New Zealand, imagine. We, we had cows next to the trading center, but our milk was not being drunk in the towns. The milk drunk in the towns was being imported from Denmark, from, not Denmark, mainly Switzerland, from New Zealand, from, in, in, in tins. Those times they were using tinned milk. Then later on, around 1964, the market was flooded by processed milk from Kenya, called KCC, Kenya Creameries Cooperative. Now, when we came, we said we cannot accept this. The Banyankore, the, the Ugandans have been producing milk for the last 7,000 years. How can it be that they don't process milk for the towns. The processed milk in the towns, the, the, the liquid milk, the, 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 the powdered milk, the, 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 the butter, butter, or we are all coming from outside. And then you have got people whom they call leaders. Leaders. How can you be a leader in such a situation? Your people are producing milk in the villages. You don't bother to, pro to, to work on how to process it, to supply it to the towns. Then you say, what sort of leader are you? It's betrayal. So therefore, you have seen what has happened to the milk. The milk now, Uganda is one of the biggest producers of, of, of milk, I think, in, in, in Africa. We are producing milk. Here, I don't know which other ones in Kampala. We are producing something like 5 billion liters of milk now and exporting. The only problem has been the indiscipline of your people who are bringing uh, uh, foot and mouth disease, which you are going to, con to control. So that was the war on milk. Of course, we had started with war on soap. <laughs> you know, we came in 1986, people had no soap. Soap was being smuggled from I don't know where. I worked with the Mukwano to, to, to start manufacturing uh, soap here. I gave him money. Please, you go and start. How much soap do we use here? 80,000 tons a year. That's what he told me, Mukwano. How much money do you need? He needed, he needed, I don't know, some dollars. I gave it to them to, 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 them to him. Go and produce soap. That war was finished, the war of soap. Then beer, the, our drunkards. There was no beer here. It was being smuggled. A, a, a beer called uh, Primus, some beer called Primus was being smuggled from I don't know where, from Burundi, from... So that war, <laughs> we had to be in that war of the beer, although I don't drink beer, but I had to fight the war of beer. Now, when it comes to minerals, this is real betrayal. 
you can imagine if you see what they call the cassette light or whatever they call it. It's just a mere rock, nibari. But for them, they know that there is tin there. But if you look at it, it's just ibari. But which, which has got 65% purity of, of tin in it. That's what has, was being exported all this time. Amabari, Amabari Gachikagate, Garwa Muire, Omirashandom, Ivoketa Mirashande, that's what they were exporting. And you would have a commissioner of minerals. Imagine, there is a commissioner of ignorance. A commissioner of stupidity. Commissioner. Commissioner of what? Why, can't, why don't you see this? So when we came, after fighting the battles of milk, battles of, battles of soap, battles of all of those battles, because everything is a battle. Because you have got ignorant people sitting in office. When I insisted on the, on the processing of milk, <laughs> told me that no, but I'm going to cannot look after food. Why not? Say they can. It was a big war to, 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 to introduce the, the, the dairy enterprise in the villages. So when it came to minerals, that's when we, 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 we told them that if you do not want to we shall not allow you we shall not allow you to export and we banned I banned all the exports of unprocessed minerals let the minerals stay in the ground they have been there for millions of years if the present leaders are stupid they can't see what, how to do it let them stay there. When, when, when more intelligent people come, they will, they will, I will not be part of the crime of stealing people's. Yeah. So, they all go, oh, 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 but this is the international policy. That's the international policy of fools. I'm not a fool. Mineral will leave Uganda if it's... ...orukutundembire. Hati we omonto kuzembire. Kanda venu ya hisamaru. Dero okashengeza bantu echo ide. Nuko bantu banyo batano bakor. Abantu banyo amku jengu unave unave bembes. Abaku echejezi. Our Korea, Africa, Okuria Murque. So, if you export what they were exporting, Rivari, I know, can somebody go and lift them? 
some of you above, above bring the rock and, the, and then the final product and show these people. Don't bring the other one, just bring the two, the rock and then the Ibare Netini Jagata. I bought Kurevaj. Quality by the Yonkash. Oh, when I had you on a jetta. Emerald. Aha. The party Emutahan num to the hair. Amavari. Amavari. I got you. I got you. That's enough. That's enough. One is enough. No, you show them properly. You stand there and they see properly. Mm -hmm. When I see the, the, the stone, they were paying our people who, who was getting 45,000 shillings. Is it you, the exporter, or? Huh? Tell me, come on the microphone. Forty-five thousand is the price that the exporter charges the miner. Charge, pays to the miner. Pays to the miner and then exports that product. Uh huh. So, and, and then what do you? The exporter takes it. The exporter takes uh, it uh -huh. exactly. But now the one hundred twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is to whom now? That goes. So, the, oh no, that's the price that we pay ourselves and then the miners basically get about 90,000 shillings. So the 120,000 is for who? The 120,000 is for the company? For yes, yeah, so when, when, when the now, okay, thank you very much. Now, thank you very much. Okay. What has been happening they have been giving 45,000 shillings per kilo to the miners. And then they, that's all the money Uganda gets. But now, once you process this, the, 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 the stone, you turn it into tin. By, because within the stone, the 65 percent tin, but when you you cook it, you 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 you, you burn it, other things go out and you remain with tin, which is 99 percent, 99 point something percent pure. Country now. That's number one. So the price is going up by three times almost. From 45,000 to 120,000. But number two, that, that uh, processing, Okuriyochi Ibari, Nukuendawa Kozi, Nukuendawa Factory in Keiji, Okuchema Bara. Abakozi, Ama Rama Kumiana Hatabo, Mumumo, Avanawa, Mareva, Engineer Abadia, Abuba Engineer, the highly qualified engineers. Over the Tene Mirmuni Ninja Amavare Bagatuara Gazak Tunjaba, Kuriemurmo, Abahira Jizzi. 
abanya bana bari ya hatu bini miru bashumire konga tu bini miru so mba na hati echo kubanza urutaro uruntu uramu konga mbe mbe nhe ugaruko mwikishaka mweje ndese lezi abako wano bazana zana wajira tubako manya ubako zana zana nawe mbe na yintu bitu wagaruko mwikishaka nkatera wa tu wapu tuka shoburo Havoko ni mwijia kuleta kabi umu umuzi. So, Uganda, on the issue of teen, than it was getting. But secondly, because of this processing, which is here, jobs are created. Here now, if the stones had been taken out, <laughs> Canada or somewhere else, now these jobs are here. So these are jobs. is paying it. But that's not all. When the factory is here, he cannot use his electricity from Canada for electricity. And he pays for it. He pays for the water. If the water is going into the factory. He pays for the... Uh, for the telephones. When they are ringing, they are ringing, they are ringing here. If this factory was in Canada, all those, the, employee, the employee, employees' benefits the electricity, the water, the telephones will all now be there, <laughs> not here. But that's not all. When this, because this team is used as a substance for electricity con conducting, as you had, that electric, this thing is used in, uh, used in uh, computers, in uh, laptops, in, uh, in, in mobile phones, in all those things which need electricity. But also, it is an anti-corrosion. That's why you, you you'd hear of, of, of tinned, tinned beef. Those small tins where they were putting things, they, they would put tin to stop the, the rusting. Uh, this is the value of, of tin. E e electricity conductor and corrosion and also softens. Softens, ma malleable. Now, here I read it. Somebody may, may come wanting to make, to, to make mobile phones here or computer laptops. So we tell him, Ugandans, educated Ugandans, commissioner, honorable, I don't know what, or honorable ignorance. We don't have, t you cannot put a, a computer factory here. If you put a computer factory, you must import tin from China. And the team in China is the one which came from Chicago. This 
this is the one we are now going to Kushaka. To, to, now, now, because of that, the cost, the cost, the price has gone up. But now, this thing here, process here, will be used directly. Am I right? Or do you need to improve it a bit? You tell us. Huh? You tell us. You come with the microphone. If I have got a computer manufacturer, I've got a mobile phone. No, Muse, this product is ready to be used yes. by all electronics industries. Yes. So, it will now be easy for, for, for other, other manufacturers of high quality things to have the factory the raw material the one you saw here yes some of it will be exported but some of it can be used here directly. I will give you an example of Stupidity. Stupidity at the national level. We have got commission of stupidity. You have got minister of stupidity. You have got permanent secretary of stupidity. Since 1956, Uganda was exporting copper from Chirembe. But the copper they were exporting was not, was not fully refined. They would, the, the, the Canadian company which was doing it was called Falcon Bridge. They would refine copper to, to 94% purity, called blister copper. Now, that copper, you cannot use it in factories. So they would take all that copper from Chile and all that time when they were producing in the 50s, 60s, 70s. It would all go to Mombasa, go abroad. Here, like in, in Rugazi, Meta had a factor of cables, of cables, wires of electricity, which need copper. But he could not use the Chilembe copper. Because the Chirembe copper was not processed enough. Can you imagine? So, the factor of matter of cables in Rugazi had to now to import what they call pyrite copper, which is 99.9% .9 pure, to now be used in the factory. This one would be here. I can name be Uh -huh. So you see that Kanungu Muko Kurio Murwanda. India, when he gets to India, he makes steel out of, of the iron ore. He makes steel. And the ton of steel is $600, $700. Here, you are paid us $47 a ton. There you are earning $600, $700, sometimes it went up even up to $900. And then all the jobs have gone there. So what sort of country can this be? 
What sort of, of leadership? So that's why, therefore, especially you, the leaders, and of course the civil servants, because for the civil servants, we quarreled badly. Araba, Binokan, Tiekwene, That's my daughter, Alaba. You, you tell us what you are doing in your ministry there before I came to disturb you. What, what, were, what were your plans? Uh, uh, when did you join the ministry? Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. I joined the ministry in 1994. Uh, oh, you are quite. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, what was your, your plan? Uh, Your Excellency, we have been uh, concentrating on establishing the resource uh, where the what? We're establishing the resource, the mineral resource. The resource. Yes. Mm. Yes, where we've done um, work covering you had, now. Your people had given licenses to people to take and process. Yes, Your Excellency, at that time. Uh, before the, the policy on value addition, uh, the exportation of unprocessed uh, mineral ores. But now we've not, we are not doing that. We are concentrating on uh, establishing the mineral reserves and then promoting mineral value addition and a number of uh, industries have come so up. So you have joined me now? <laughs> yes, Your Excellency. <laughs> Thank you, Excellency. I'm speaking in, in law. <laughs> so, this is the war. So, therefore, uh, I want to thank the young man. The, you call the company what? Wood Cross. I want to thank you, Wood Cross. Thank you for being Christians. I don't know what your religion is, but you are behaving like Christians now. Because Christians behave in a fair way. I, I believe also the Muslims be, believe in the, in the same. In a fair way. Let the country which, which has got the mineral get the the advantages of those minerals, but you also get you, you also get your share. Like now, what will be your profit margin? Now, the way we are speaking now, you tell us. Do, 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 <laughs> cause Christians don't hide. Your Excellency, our profit margins right now are not that exciting. We're about 15%. That's, but that's pretty good. That's mm. pretty good. But as we develop the mines, we hope to marginally increase 15% with the value addition. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, before the value addition, what, were your profit, what would be the profit margin? We don't know. We never exported any unprocessed minerals. <laughs> because you would <laughs> spend very little here. No. What would be your total earnings? Maybe not profit, because even there you'd have to. Oh, sorry, our total revenue for the facility? Or now, <laughs> if you do not, if you are not processing locally here. Yes. And you are processing in Canada. Yes. How much would you take from like one time? Uh, in terms of profit margin, not, I don't not have the salary profit to gross, including the profit to gross but outside, externalized. Externalized portion of the earnings. Externalized portion of earnings. It's very hard to put numbers on them, but it, it's certainly not as exciting as it is what we have with the project here. Our, our profit margin at 15% is significant, and we're, we're very happy with that project. I, I don't have numbers to be able to share with you, and I just don't want to throw out numbers. Thank you. Stage, if you don't mind. So, really, this is the... That's what is happening here. And it's not only tin, even iron ore. I don't know the minister 
We don't have the minister from industry to tell us what's happening because we are, we are trying to build a steel industry in Rwanda. I don't know how far they have gone. Does anybody know? In Rwanda? Uh-huh. Your Excellency, you look at them land, but they didn't take it. They wanted in Shara, which was not fit for. I think they are finding another space in around Barara. Does somebody know? We, oh, Nankabra would know. Mm. Your Excellency, we have already given STEAM an exploration license, and they are doing exploration very soon, because now they are exporting samples, they will be offered a mining license. There are two areas mm. which we have identified for them. But where would they build the factory? Where is Lake Bunyoni? Around Lake Bunyonyi, Your Excellency. Mm -hmm. Because you remember they want to use hydrogen, mm -hmm. so they, want to, they have to be near water. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Thank you. So on the iron we are moving, on the gold, how many gold refineries do we have now? Gold, gold. There are seven refineries, Your Excellency. Yes, gold refineries already. The first in <laughs> this area. So, the, what, I, what I want now, I don't want any more destruction by any actors. Uh, the coffee, the coffee which I told my son Mpaka about, you know the, this coffee? The good beans of coffee, what they call screen 18. When we export it after removing the husk, what they call casse, we get $2.5 a kilo. When somebody roasts it and grinds it outside, he gets $40. Gets $40. So that's what I told you. How can you accept this? The coffee must be roasted here and ground here. What is the problem? Why do you have to go and roast the coffee? And all this money goes. The money, the jobs, just like you see here, the same with the coffee. So, oboro muku gamba, nabano kubule mirumo, echi kubuze mirumo, nebi. Obaji, obushema, ukwe hanga murra, ukuri ya mwensoruku. I think yes, the shirt I'm putting on is a Ugandan shirt. It is made by fine spinners. It is the same story. If you export uh, cotton, you will get like one dollar a kilo. When I make a shirt like this one, from the same kilo, a number of shirts actually, I think I can make about four shirts from one kilo of, of palm. I get $15 and the jobs. Uh -huh. Pamba, Pamba, Harua Hinga, Wahinga Pamba, Uguya Tungumurum. Aroku Jireta Bakayitomo Omjinari, Bakayame, Bakayame, and Bu. African Bagarichirao, Akuyame Bu. They wrote Oa Korehuzi. We are to Nemirumo, a Giona, ah, to Gabrava Hill. So, Mbenati, I'm very happy to be here. 
to witness another new victory in that war of liberating Africa from slavery. Now, the other things you are talking about, the, the forest here, Echivira, Haruhi Kazi Ngaika Chebeza, Yes. At Paraka and Ajanka and Abazib, Scuba in Gaoshi. Yeah, but your excellence and Iakuzi and Kagumizim. Abazib, eh? Tanaza Kovatera, Chinko Vatera. Your idea, Yoko Jerango to Jindri Industrial Park and our Rayajam, Yam Tiovrena, Baherem Kajiram. Mukajiri and Ayo Gavahanyam Tiovara Yam Tiovara Kavit Scott Factory Akoko Koran in Jimania and Kani Rwanda Honaba Min Sanjunevi in Hona Terrever Kereva Minaho on the Kungwevio, a beef for your beef for young Guto, Ate Kavet in Yam Tiover. Ah? Your Excellency, a real Yanyam Tuberia, Emwe, the Forest Reserve. Kandi Nintekateka, Wendijaya, Vidia Guts Bay, Yaviaji Mava, Uganda Investment Authority, a twin Tekateka Kora Konkakandi, Garacheraba Guts Bay. Aba? Aba Guts Bay. Guts Bay Ninj. Guts Bay no group Yavan to Baki Kora Mumur Mubakaba Guzita Kariao. Barunda Saint, small scale manufacturers actually. So kuba aherze ba girebizu bya banka haza Uganda Investment Authority yabayambaho kuyahizita kayashanka yarutwara konka bagumana bahandika nambwe ne barezo nuko ari yo hikazi nga yoko ah ah ni ricyo munonga zikazari ekaz mkamukaga only yeah kana nyamtyo bereka bere mpango ah nyamtyo bara yo nyamtyo bara mpango unity forest way forest way reserve mpango ni one and we gonna Ninka Ninka Makum Ninka Makumiabi. Atom where my text extake a teco would full revera to Tuarum Charo, Cachera, Cachera Munitaka, Yver Muhanese is in Jacobet and Chigamba. Yver in longer you are now. Our Sarkoz, Sarkoz of Yaraha, is a chairman of C1, Ogona Nahore Yampom Himbo, Nazakumtu and Miriam Makumia Shot. Um Sarkoye, my PPS, I want to contribute 30 million shillings to the Sarko of the LOC1s here. The chairman was speaking here. Then the, you talked of the 50 million for who, for what group? Your Excellency, it's for the Pentecostal churches. We, you pledge to give it to them at Lakeview for oh. their circle. Okay, now PPS, that, that I have got a, a debt of 50 million shillings, which I, I pledge to Pentecostals, or what sort of people are they? They have a rockery that I, I, I pledge the 50 million to the rockery. Yes. So please uh, make sure I, uh, you, you, we send it. Yes. Uh, thank you very much. Now, finally. Your, Your Excellency, also for the uh, Muslim faith and the Catholics and Protestants. Okay, you tell the, the PPS here. Link up. Now, the, the rent. When you are not working, I, I cancel it. 
because it is not it is not logical to 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 to, to, to paralyze somebody then you, you ask money from him it's not common sense so that one i will cancel start now and move forward this is not the end of the world now then the other one of getting uh, permission to export it should not be ad hoc it should be a, a, a standing arrangement that once you achieve a certain level which 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 we set then you 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 export automatically i think but but, but the minister said he, she would handle it then what else were you talking about land land i i don't want you to use the land of uh, of stock farm, that one I don't agree. Stock farm is part of the national research, agricultural research network. We need that land to remain there for our agricultural research. So we need some other land from, I think this one is better, this one of, of, of the forest, because that one is, because it, agriculture is very important. You don't have an agricultural research center here in this area. This was the stock farm. Now, if you change it and you, what will you use? Like, for instance, we have been giving the coffee seedlings to farmers through Operation Wealth Creation. Then that was taken over by business people. The coffee seedlings, very expensive. Now, I would like to produce cheaper coffee seedlings for my people and coffee, uh, uh, fruit, seedlings, where will I produce them if, if I don't have some of that land? So I don't think it is good to change the agricultural land network f for, for this purpose, uh, uh, for factories. I think this land looks more interesting. Uh, oh. So let's go and study that. Uh huh. What else was remaining? Anything else? Finish. Uh. Are, are you from Uganda originally? Yes. You, you, your family? Your Excellency, they raised the issue of the abattoir. And we have put an abattoir at Inshara Ranch. We are yes. planning for an abattoir, not within the city. We already put up a mini abattoir at Sanga, which very we are commissioning good. very, very good. soon. Very good. Uh, where were you? Where did you originate from? I'm, a, I'm originally Iranian, but I was raised in Canada. So oh, Iran, Iranian. Iran, yes. Persian. That's right. Farsi. Your, your mother is Persian. Yes. Oh, okay. She is. You, you belong to the Shah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the group of Palevi. Pahlavi. Pahlavi. That's right. uh, yes, correct. Okay. So, you people, Banyankwede, thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Now, somebody talked about the bananas. Would you know what the problem is? Because that was the answer. Factory of shame. Okuyesa no, nebi indi omo omitoche. Excellency. Research proved that uh, Sanga has high radiation and was more suitable for the factory. And we are working with the Ministry of Technology 
to avail the factory for Sanga to serve this region. For Dr. Muranga. Yes. Yeah, thank you so much, Mwabari Mnonga. I congratulate Wood Cross, and I thank everybody. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for the opportunity. Your Excellency, I talked about the issue of Isinjiro Rakaye. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Your Excellency, you approved in the cabinet, and the money for the preliminary work is already put in our next budget. Okay. Thank you. Your Excellency, we will have uh, just one ask after the anthems, Your Excellency. Uh, there are two photos you will, we will have with you, and I will be identifying the people that will have these photos. So may I request that we all be upstanding. As first of all, we appreciate His Excellency the President for making time for this launch of uh, the Woodcross tin smelting facility, and I now call for the anthem. thing I forgot. All the tin produced in Uganda should come to this factory here. Uh, 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 unless somebody builds another, another similar factory like this one, then th you can share. But, but, but no export of unprocessed tin. Thank you. but I want to request the Honourable Ministers if you could make your way uh, guided by protocol.